Hi, I wanted to create a video for you today on spiritual burnout, because I think a lot of people need to hear this. I don't know about you, but when we're sort of light warriors, spiritual warriors, light workers, star seeds on this awakening journey, we can take it really seriously. And that's right, you know, this is a, a path we're all on at this time, which is not easy. It's pretty challenging a lot of the time. And it takes dedication, it takes devotion, it takes commitment, it takes showing up every day to do your spiritual practices. It takes a lot of um, work, you know. And sometimes that can be a bit overwhelming. And what I found within myself is that it's quite easy to over push ourselves with our spiritual work and forget that we need time for lightness and relief and to recalibrate and to repair. And something that I've had to learn the hard way is that just because I can do a lot of this energy work and healing work, and just because I'm on this spiritual path and I'm here as, a, as, I'm here as a spiritual warrior, as an, and as, as an alchemist, as probably many of you watching are. It doesn't mean you have to like keep going at it, keep going at it all the time because you can just fry yourself. And, you know, I had the message last week, particularly with the equinox energies, which I found super intense um, as an energy sensitive. You know, you can keep going, keep going until at some point um, you have to stop and take a break and allow yourself some uh, recalibration, some integration time. It's really a lot of work we have to do, but there's also a time for letting everything reset and come back to balance. You know, what happens when we don't do that is that we end up with kind of this, um, it's like you're frying your circuits. It's like there's too much electrical charge coming through the wires and you can end up burning the house down or just feeling completely ungrounded, feeling um, actually physically sick sometimes. And what I found is it really takes a lot of um, discernment to read your own energy system and read when enough's enough and to know what you need. And a lot often, you know, I don't know about you, but you can end up like watching spiritual YouTube videos and you know all your emails are about spiritual stuff and you're then looking at this other workshop you've been invited to or this free event or this summit and then you're doing your own spiritual practice work you know and my spiritual practice daily can take two or three hours you know and it's been like that for several years because I'm I, this is my calling and so if you're not careful you can spend all your waking hours in fact it's not even your waking hours you can even spend your nighttime hours in astral planes doing your spiritual warrior work so because I'm a you know uh, by nature quite dedicated and devoted to this I have I'm this is a message to me as well as to you that you know sometimes you just need to take time out to put the oracle cards away to turn the YouTube video off and to get out in nature and do something human do something really grounded and light to you know stop the repetitive scrolling of of spiritual messages, YouTube videos, you know, tarot readings. Not that any of this is is wrong by far, you know, I love all this stuff. But gosh, sometimes we forget that when we watch these kind of things, we we become really open. And it can it can be too much sometimes. Sometimes we need to just close the curtains and say, okay, I'm just I'm just having some me time. I'm just like giving my human some time so over the equinox I don't know if any of you experience these kind of surges sometimes I get these uh, what I feel like electrical surges and the night before the equinox I so we're talking about the September 2023 equinox I um I don't know if any of you get this um these um tones in your ears at night where you can almost like you wake up in the night and you just hear this dee -dee 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 -dee, like Morse code and this like codes coming in codes coming in and I had all of that and then you know you see the flashes of light and then you just get the surges of energy going through your body and you're just up you know you're just wide awake and you just feel your the surges through your legs this happens to me um 
whenever there's these kind of events or there's certain times of, of year or certain um certain times when we get these sort of really waves of these real influxes of light and sometimes it can be related to solar flares you know some I, there's so many reasons this could be it's kind of cosmic frequencies i think so if you're experiencing all of this and you're still then repetitively doing all your spiritual work i'm just just from my heart to your saying take a break you know go and have a nice cup of tea and watch something light and easy on the tv or go for a walk in nature you know get away from the screens get away from the oracle cards for a bit it doesn't take long for me now if I feel like that, and sometimes I'll I will get the message I'm doing my readings, and it'll say, "No, you're burning yourself out. Have some repair time." And I'm like, "Oh God, yeah." And I um, try not to judge myself, and then I just go, "Okay, yeah, that's right. I have been going a bit like crazy over the top." And um, so, if this is you, and if this is um, if you can relate to this, then you know, have some you time, recalibrate. It can t- be really quick these days. Just literally. With it, it can be a couple of hours, you know, maybe the rest of the day, and then the next day you wake up and you're you're back to normal again. But obviously, you don't want to keep getting to that point. So try and pace yourself. Try try and read your energy. Try and um, manage your energy field so you can become a, a stronger, clearer channel of light. So you can be in your self expression without burning yourself out. And I. Just wish you all well and a beautiful day or night wherever you are. And I hope this supports you. Lots of love.